our whole family is very artistic. Like my father is an anthropologist and he does exhibitions uh, specialized in Tibet and Himalaya. Um, he writes books too. And my mother became an artist later when she came to Switzerland. She figured that somehow she can express feelings and you know how she, what she went through, she can express it into art. So she's very abstract artist and she does installation art too. And um, my brother is a photographer. It's art photography, but also like um, does paintings and installations. And me, actually, I would have been an artist too if I didn't choose the way, the path to go, be an actress, which is kind of like an artistic job too, very visual. And I'm very much interested into you know making own movies and and um, and yeah, also being a Tibetan activist, which was very important for me after I finished University of Theater, I decided I need to do something for my second homeland. And I became the president of the Tibetan Youth Association, where I was organizing demonstrations and benefits concerts and actions. When I was the president of the Tibetan Youth Association in Europe, we decided in 2001 when the IOC was deciding in which country the Olympic Games are going to be held in 2008 to take action in Moscow and demonstrate against um, the IOC that they can't give the Games to China. Because we knew it, China is a favorite place they want to have the Olympic Games 2008 and um, that's when we went over and we got arrested right away. We we had this banner which was like five meter long and it was written like the games of Beijing with Tibet and there were like five bullet holes assembled like um, the Olympic signs to say like you know we can't have fair games in, in China and Olympic games stand for fair games in a fair country so China they have no human rights in their own country as well in Tibet. The Dalai Lama knows my father now for um, 40 years, they're very good friends. It was like when my father was 20, he went to Dharamsala and did an interview for a little magazine or a paper in Switzerland, which almost no one read. He wanted to go and interview the Dalai Lama and he, uh, the Dalai Lama said yes and that's how a friendship started. And whenever my father has an opening of an exhibition, he did once uh, an exhibition about the 14 Dalai Lamas from the 1st to the 14th, then the Dalai Lama came and um, visited him. 